Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to make a leather bound book cover adorned with gold leaf custom text. This document is 1920 by 1080 pixels with a resolution of 150 pixels per inch. Click on your background color and choose a brown. I'm using 87681E. Go to Filter, Render, and Clouds. Then go to Image, Adjustments, and Brightness Contrast. We'll make the brightness 40 and the contrast minus 30. Go to Filter and Filter Gallery. Open Brush Strokes and choose Sprayed Strokes. We'll make 5 for the stroke length, 20 for the spray radius, and the stroke directions horizontal. Go back to Filter and Filter Gallery. This time open the Distort folder and choose Glass. We'll make 18 for the distortion, 4 for the smoothness, the texture is frosted, and 200% for scaling. We're ready to set our text. Call up your Type tool and click on your Character Text box. If you don't see it, go to Window and choose Character. Choose a font. I'm using Times New Roman Regular with a point size of 94. Type out your text. I'd like to enlarge the middle word, so I'll highlight the line and size it up. To increase the space or letting between these two words, I'll go to the letting field and increase the amount. To bring the bottom two lines closer together, highlight the bottom line, go to the letting field, and decrease the amount. To reposition your text, call up your Move tool, click on your text, and move it. Close the text windows and make a new layer. Call up your custom shape tool. At the top, click on the arrow next to shape. Then click on the gear symbol to open up your list of shape presets. Click large list and then choose ornaments. For this example, I'll use ornament 5. Click on the fill color and choose white. Choose no stroke, which is symbolized by the diagonal red line. I'll click next to the top word, press shift, and drag out the shape. To move it, don't release your mouse or pen. Press the space bar and then move it. Make a copy of the shape by pressing Ctrl or Command plus J. Press shift and drag the copy to the left. Go to the original shape, press shift and click on it. Now both shapes are active. Press Shift and Alt or Shift and Option and drag down. Pressing Alt or Option made a copy of the two top shapes and pressing Shift at the same time can find them to move straight down. Go to Edit, Transform and Flip Vertical. Make a new layer and call up your rectangular marquee tool. Drag out a thin rectangle under the top ornaments and word and fill it with white. Since white is our background color, press Ctrl or Command plus Delete. Delete the selection, and as before, press Shift and Alt or Shift and Option and drag down the line until it's flush with the top of the ornaments. Let's consolidate all the shapes and the text into a folder. Go to the text layer, press Shift, and then Ctrl or Command plus G. We'll rename the folder Text. The blend mode of a new folder defaults to Pass Through. We'll change the blend mode to Overlay. This changes all the layers in the folder to this blend mode. We need to cut and copy our gilded title from its background. Hide the background by clicking off its eyeball, and we'll make a composite snapshot of this image by pressing Ctrl Shift Alt E or Command Shift Option E on a Mac. Go to the Composite Snapshot layer and press Ctrl or Command as you click on it. This will call up its selection. Now we can trash the white layer since we don't need it anymore. Make the background visible again and make a composite snapshot of the entire image. With the selection of the title still active, press Ctrl or Command plus J to cut the selection from the image and copy it to its own layer. Now we can trash the composite snapshot since we don't need it anymore. This is the leather background we'll be using. I downloaded it for free at cgtextures.com.
For your convenience, I provided the link in the video descriptions area so you can download it directly. To get it into our Gilded Text document, call up your Move tool and drag it up onto the Gilded Text Documents tab. Without releasing your mouse or pen, drag it down onto the document and then release. Now drag the leather background below the title. The leather document is larger than our Gilded Text document. I'd like to reduce the leather down to make its texture smaller. To do this, I'll call up the Transform tool by pressing Ctrl or Command plus T. To fit the entire transform on your screen, press Ctrl or Command plus zero. Go to a corner and press Shift and Alt or Shift and Option and drag in. Then press Enter or Return and fit the entire image on your screen. I'd like to make the overall leather texture a bit darker, so I'll press Ctrl or Command plus L to call up the Levels window. I'll drag the lighter output levels to 165 and click OK. Let's angle our book cover to give it perspective. Go to the top layer, press Shift and click on it to highlight both layers. Call up your Transform tool and fit it in your screen. Go to Edit, Transform and Perspective. Click on a bottom corner and drag out. Both corners move the same distance at the same time. To reposition it, click anywhere in the Transform and move it. Then press Enter or Return and fit it in your screen. We're ready to add some lighting to give it drama. Make a composite snapshot and go to Filter, Render and Lighting Effects. We'll choose Spot, the color intensity is 57, the hot spot is 67, colorize is white, exposure 0, the gloss is minus 8, metallic is 100, and ambience is 51. Move the lighting circles up and over and drag out the outer ring to scale both up. Continue to play with the points and rings to adjust the shape and amount of shadow fall off. By turning this style, it increases or decreases the brightness of the spotlight. When you're happy with the lighting, click OK. Have fun creating your own exquisite leather book cover set with text gleaming in gold leaf. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.